Hmm. Looks tasty. join me aggravated and irritated as well as sweaty leaving Walmart because they don't have the freaking oil filter that I need for the Wrangler. The Jeep needs a, it needs an oil change, it needs the tires rotated, but most importantly it needs a bath as you'll see in a few moments. Well actually more than a few moments now because now we have to go to stupid AutoZone where we're gonna pay $84.95 for an oil filter. I looked at all of the brands that that Walmart has for oil filters in the sizes I need, and they didn't have a single one of them. What the hell is up, Walmart? Now I'm pissed off. Correction, I didn't look to see if they had the Fram size, um, or the oil filter in the, the Fram size, um, because Fram stinks from what I've, I've heard, and I care enough about my little baby Wrangler to drive down the road to another place to find a good quality oil filter because it's she's getting old she she could use it I can park like a dick cuz I have a spotlight 20 minutes later. It's the only downside of driving an old police car is, is I'm in a rush and everyone thinks that I'm gonna pull them over if they speed. Ah! So here is the deal. Uh, the Jeep needs an oil change and uh, also needs a bath because it had, well, I had a little incident with it that made it look like it had bad Chipotle or something. But it also needs an oil change and I usually rotate the tires when I change the oil and um, especially with these new expensive tires on it, I actually haven't rotated them yet. So I don't want to chop them up and now I have a full size spare, unlike I did before. So now I can actually uh, throw the spare into the mix. But first, bath time. Um, I'm not doing this in my driveway so I don't create a milkshake over there. <laughs> For all you detailers out there, please, please spare me the, uh, the embarrassment. I know I did a horrible job. It was a very quick job. And frankly, it, it looks like crap. It doesn't look like crap, but it, it could do, uh, but I could have done a lot better. But I have places to be, not, not fun places to be, but important places to be. So this was the best I could do in the time that I had. And while I had an extra set of hands here, my brother, uh, I went ahead and took the hard top off because it's a beautiful summer's day. Just kidding, it's spring. And I figured I have to take this on a drive in a little bit anyways. Might as well make it better. So, whew, I'm sweating and I'm running around the yard. So now it's time to do the actual oil change. And while it's up in the air, I'm going to, uh, actually I don't have to put it up in the air, but I do need to 
pretty fancy, huh, for a police car. I do need to rotate the tires as well, as I said. Get all of our ingredients out of here. Oh boy, something's gonna fall. All right, let's see. Now, I didn't go for anything fancy for the Jeep. It just takes regular 1030 oil, not full synthetic or anything. It's like an old tractor engine. As long as you keep oil, any sort of oil into it, you're fine. Uh, so Castrol GTX was the only 1030 non-synthetic oil that Walmart had. Walmart did not have, as I said, the type of oil filter I needed. So AutoZone, the only one that they had in the size that I needed was a K&N, which is funny enough because I just put a K&N on the Z28. So the Jeep is really getting treated today. Um, if you guys have Wranglers with the four liters and um, you need part numbers or anything, I'll include a link to, uh, to all the products that I'm using uh, down in the description below. The nice thing is with this, I don't even think I have to to jack it up to uh, change the oil. There we go. I love the way it looks like that. Yeah, the oil filters. Come on, camera, focus. Oil filters right there. I can literally just reach down and grab it. Which isn't that funny, unlike the C5 Corvette when you need to, to get it up in the air. It requires a engineering degree. Well, I did a great job there. Wow, proud of myself. None on the driveway either. Father would be proud. That oil looks so clean. new k and filter. Very nice, very nice. Lube up the new filter. <laughs> Throw her in. Filter's on. Time for the new stuff. Like Bruce Lee. The last one. Yum. All right, tires rotated, oil changed, leaks. Nope. Perfect. All right, we'll shut this thing up. Well, I'm going to finish torquing the wheels to spec and then. I'm gonna finish cleaning up my mess. I'm gonna dispose of the old oil in the backyard like you're supposed to. I'm just kidding, that is that is terrible. If you do that, you're a, a person. You're a terrible person. Now I'll just drink it instead. I was supposed to do an oil change as well to the C5, um, but somehow these projects always end up taking longer than they're supposed to, even though this was not a project at all. It was just maintenance. I'm just a bit slow sometimes. But next we gotta do an oil change on the C5. 
I uh, also have to do one in the Charger, already did one in the Z28. And the C5 also needs a little, uh, it's not like a maintenance item, it's, it's something pertaining to the headers um, that I haven't done yet that I have to do. So uh, next video, we're gonna be doing that. Again, all the products I used, um, I'll link down in the description below, as well as the DeWalt um, impact gun. I get a lot of questions what gun that is, that thing's amazing, I'll link that too. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy motoring.